My name is Patricia Turner. I teach History 292, The Origins of Current World Conflicts, and I'm a professor of history. If there are no freshman questions, I'm going to dive back in so I can finish today's uh, Wednesday's lecture and move on to uh, the French and American, American French revolutions. The goal of this class is to give students a broad context perspective on current world conflicts, and that perspective is historical. What the argument is, is that if we understand the origins of conflicts, we have a lot better understanding of what form they're taking, you know, what's happening today, and how they might be resolved. Notes. As part of the great grand bargain back in the 17th century that established absolutism in France, the clergy and the aristocracy paid no major taxes at all. The third estate paid. Current conflicts today, okay, are justified by claims to human rights. The argument that we're being oppressed, that we have an inherent right of self-determination, that our civil rights are being, um, or more egregiously, our fundamental human rights of life and security of person are being denied. That becomes a justification that is universally accepted as at least potentially legitimate and therefore a reason to justify conflict. They pass this universal document promising rights to everyone, then they spend four years debating them. The Americans don't. We'll talk about why in just a minute. This is a unique course. There is no course like this, to my knowledge, in the United States. So there is no textbook I could grab off. So in lieu of that, students read a lot of primary sources. And for example, in the French and American Revolutions, they read the Declaration of Independence. They read the Bill of Rights. They also read the Declaration of the Rights of Man and Citizen, which was the first document issued by the French revolutionaries. Take 292. You pick up New York Times after you've taken the class, and you may not know anything about Eritrea, but they're having a border dispute. But you have already a context with which to understand this conflict, and because of that, to form your own opinion about whose side do you support, do you think that the border dispute should be brought to the UN, you know, you can have an informed opinion. If students can take that away from 292, then, then I'm thrilled as a professor. I'm, that, that is all I could ask for.